Greetings, this is 406 Gunners back with another fun video today. So today I have been getting some questions about the fire forming 762x54R into 8x50R, whether or not it would work with 8x56R. So today we have an 8x56R. Uh, some people think it can be done, some don't. I'll show you the reason why. So here's our 762x54R. 8x50R has just a slightly longer shoulder to it, not much. That's our 8x56. So the headspace on these two cartridges should be almost identical with their rims. However, the shoulder, as you can see, is pretty substantially different. Now there shouldn't be any overpressure with this because this is a narrower bullet going down a wider bore. I uh, wouldn't also expect much of a group, but we'll go ahead and try shooting at 25 yards. We're going to try three rounds, see if it blows up. Obviously it doesn't feed the best. Get my hand away from that. Appears to have fired. No cracks. Looks like maybe just a hair to blow back. Now I'm just going to say that's definitely harder extraction. I don't know if I'd make a super big habit of doing that, but as you can see, there's our fire form casing. There's 8x56. And there is our 7.62. And I'm seeing a little bit of bulge to that. I don't know if I'd make a habit of that again, but... It can be done. I think with a lighter charge, it might even be a good way of making brass for them. So let's go see if we hit anything. Kind of as would be expected, no holes. Those bullets are probably tumbling down range as they go. Anyways, thanks for watching the Can You Fire 762x54R in an 8x56R. 406 Gunners out.